Hi everyone, in the previous video we have seen the new webinar experience in Microsoft Teams. You can check the link in the description or in the upper right corner if you missed it. Now in this video I want to cover how you can build up an automatic process to send a feedback form to your participants when the webinar is over. Why you should have this kind of process? Well, the reason is simple. You may just want to improve the quality of your content, or maybe you want to know if you need to set up additional webinars, or maybe you need to set up and deliver a workshop. Okay, let's get started together and I'll show you every step how you can automate this thing. Here I am in office.com. First thing to do is to create a form in order to collect all feedback coming from the attendees of my webinar. You know what? I will use Microsoft Forms, of course. To create a new form, you have just to click on the button Create and here you have a bunch of options. I will select Form. Now that I have the form, the new form open, I can start to fill out some content here. I added a title and a description, I can add an image that I can search directly in Bing. I am going to select this one, let's click on Add. Now that I have an image, I can move to the next step, which is setting up the theme. Let me select this one. And now I can start building every component of my form. I'm going to add a rating. Here, let me add the title. Did you enjoy the content of the session? I'm going to use a symbol star. It's fine. This is required. Let's move to the next step. Let's add another rating. Was the content of the session presented clearly? Let's move with another component. This time I'm going to add a choice field. If you want to learn more about the topic, what type of session would you like to do? Let's provide as option webinar, workshop. Let me add an additional option. This would be a short meeting. And finally, the last one, I am not. I'm not interested. So I added all options, all possible options. I am now ready to set the settings to check the configuration of this form. To do that, I'm going to click on the button collect responses. Here I can select uh, a shorten URL, which is better to use. Let me click on the button copy. And now I can target anyone can respond because I delivered my webinar to external users as well and to anonymous users. Now that I'm ready, I can copy this form. Let's say that the configuration are good. I can move with the next step, which is setting up a Power Automate flow that will take care of an Excel file where I have the list of my attendees and then I will send this form through Power Automate. I am now in the calendar of Microsoft Teams. The previous week I delivered this webinar, how to get the most out of your internet. Let me click on this event. And now, as you can see, I can click on the tab Attendance because I will use this functionality to automate the process in order to ask for feedback. Now I'm going to download the attendance report so I can reuse this file Excel. Here I have the list of my participants. I have several information, first join, last leave, in meeting duration, role, and, and so on. Now I can download this file. Now that I saved the attendance report, I'm going to click on Teams because for this purpose, I created a specific team called webinars. I'm used to use this team and to work with that in order to handle my webinars and in order to build up such process. In the general tab under file, now I'm going to drop the file that I just downloaded, which is this one. Let me drag and drop this file. And now what I'm gonna do to make it compatible with Power Automate, I have to convert it, but I have to add also a table. First of all, I'm going to open the file. Let me click on it. And now 
what I have to do here is create a table. I have three highlights here, the summary, two participants and three in-meeting activities. I'm interested about participants. I'm going to select this range and now here I have to add and insert a table. Before to do it, I have to edit this workbook and this means converting this file in a XLS file. Now, let me select this range again. Let's go in the pivot insert and now I can add a table. My table has headers. Now I can confirm by clicking on OK. And voila, now that I added this, I can go in table design because I want to change the name of my table. This would be table webinar. And voila, it's already saved because when you edit something in Excel online, this is immediately saved. Now I can open Power Automate and start to work with this Excel file. Now, just before to open Power Automate, I want to show you that the EXLS file has been created in the same folder, of course. I am now in PowerAutomate.com. Let's create a new flow here. The flow that I'm going to create is an instant cloud flow because I want to trigger this manually. When I'm ready to send the form to collect feedback, I will click on the button send and start the flow. Now I have to choose a name here and I am going to set this one follow up after webinar. It would be, as I mentioned, a manually trigger flow. Let's click on the button create and let's start now to add immediately the next step of this flow, which would be Excel online as action. And now here I'm going to list rows present in a table. Here I have to target my team, which is the webinars team. Here we go. The document library is the documents. The file, let me select here. Then on the arrow is this file, how to get the most out of your internet attendance report. And finally, the table that I defined before, and it's called table webinar. Now that I'm going through every attendees and I'm getting the email, I'm ready to set the next step, which is sending the email. But before to send the email, I have to create a loop. And this would be an apply to each. Then here, I'm going to set value because I want to get the, the array of my, of my range. And then finally, adding a new setting, a new step, I'm going to target Outlook as action and I'm going to send an email. So voila, here I can add my dynamic value. Let me click here on the button to expand the value. I have immediately this one available email. It is the field that I want to get. Let me select this. Now I can assign a subject to this email. Let me select one that I already prepared. Webinar feedback, how to get the most out of your internet. And then I can add here in the body my message. Now that I added the body to this email, I can select this email, this link, and then I can add the link target here. Open link in a new window, let's add. And now I added also the link to my form. I am ready to run this Power Automate flow. Let me save it. And now in order to test my flow and to run my flow, I'm going to click on test manually. Let's click on test again. And finally on continue and run flow. Click on done. And now this flow is running. Let's change the perspective and let's see if one attendee has received this email. Here I am now in the browser connected as Miriam Graham, one of my webinar attendee. And here I just received this email webinar feedback. I have here in the body the message that I set up. Thank you for joining our webinar. We would like to follow up with you in the case you are interested to get more insights about the topic or just... And, and then finally I have at the bottom the link to start to provide my feedback. 
Clicking on it, this of course will open the form that I created previously. So the, every attendee now can engage with this form by providing a, a feedback. And if they are interested to follow up with other sessions, with a webinar, workshop, short meeting, and so on. Okay, what do you think about this tip? Let me know in the comment down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please consider to subscribe and like. I hope to see you next time. Bye.